All right, let's look at some examples of these points on terminal arms and the angles that they form. Uh, I've written a question out, given the point P that lies on the terminal arm of an angle theta in standard position, draw the angle. So let's look at this. Let's just, uh, let's start with this one here. Call it one and we'll, uh, Let's plot this point. Now, I'm not going to scale off my axes, but I could. I could, I could easily scale this one to negatives 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I really am only looking for, though, the quadrant that this point is in. So here, P is up here. Here's the point, P negative 5, 7, and the negative 5 is the x value, 7 is the y value. So I make my terminal arm with the origin like that, and here is my angle, theta, in standard position. Let's try the next one. 2, 1, 2, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. So again, here's my point P. And there's the angle theta in standard position. Let's try the last one here, negative three, negative eight. There we go, negative three, negative eight. There's the arm. And here's my angle theta in standard position. So to use the point, and the point really determines where on the coordinate axis this, this angle terminal arm lies. And it's important for us to be able to do that to move on to the next step.